Well, how have you been? Good. Cool. Yeah. This is, th this feels weird for me too. So welcome to Petra Fine. I just want to jump right into this and kind of just keep going as if nothing ever happened. But it's kind of hard to do that considering I haven't made a video since August of 2017, apart from the songs for my nieces that I'm trying to repeat every year. So I thought I'd just give you a quick recap of like the important things that have happened since August 2017, which has been so many things. First of all, I moved out in January of this year to this lovely apartment. I live in Katoomba now in this apartment. It's wonderful. I also turned 20 at the start of the year and it was always kind of my goal to peak at 20. I set myself four goals to see if I could achieve them. And I did most of them, so yeah, there's that. Another thing that happened around mid 2018 was I got engaged. Yep. It really has been a while. You've missed a lot. Um, yeah, so July 8th of this year, I got engaged. It was lovely. Um, Yep, yeah, plan on a wedding now. I also went to America on a bit of an overseas trip with Beth, the said fiance. It was lots of fun. Um, I did lots of Disney, went on some rides, had some fun, was pretty lit. I also just recently, in the last couple of months or so, started a new job and that's all very new. And that's kind of the most important thing for you to know because I feel like as I keep going with this, the new job's gonna come up more than like, you know, the fact that I'm engaged. That's barely important. <laughs> so yeah, that's really all you missed. Everything else kind of came out in the wash and wasn't hugely important. So now for 2019. I wanna set five reasonable and trackable goals to achieve throughout 2019 that I'm gonna to try to use this channel to keep myself accountable. Some of these goals are things that I've said that I do for New Year's resolutions and goals on this channel before, so I don't know why I think using the channel again will keep me accountable, but I'm giving it a shot. So the first of my goals is I want to finish reading the Harry Potter series. I very much enjoy it. I'm in the fourth book at the moment. I'm listening to the audiobooks this time, and I think, I think it's gonna happen but it's very easy for me to get sidetracked. I really like podcasts, and so it's easy for me to just not listen to my audiobook and listen to podcasts instead. So I really, really, really want to finish reading the Harry Potter series. See, that's how achievable these goals are. Like, it's something like every 12-year-old has done in this country. I would like to read the Harry Potter books. Another thing that you might have missed between, like, 2017 and now, it's, it has been around for a while, is I'm lactose intolerant. And one thing I want to do is just like eat less dairy. You know how you see those memes where it's like people who are lactose intolerant pretend they're immortal. Ugh. I'm very much like that, but my brain is like, why? And so I'm going to try and do that to myself less over the course of 2019. That one's not quite as trackable, but still definitely achievable because like, don't eat cheese, Michaela. The next thing is something I just wanna try and I'm not gonna set myself to a whole year of doing it because it's something I've just seen around. It's kind of like the messy sister to bullet journaling is junk journaling. I really wanna just like give it a shot and see how it goes. Cause I'm very much like a hoarder of like little things like movie tickets and stuff. And I think collecting it and something like that might be really good. And I also just have like my notebook that I use for anything. And so I might just like repurpose that into like putting stuff into it along with like my regular like daily plans and everything that I've got going on. So it's kind of all in the one spot that kind of gives me excuse to keep those things, but I'll see how I go. I'm not too worried about that. For me, it's just, I just want to try it. I don't want to worry about it being perfect, but I do want to give it a shot. Another thing that I would like to do for 2019 is I want to complete a hobby. I am very, very flitty with my hobbies. If you couldn't tell by the consistency to which I do not upload to this channel. I started knitting a blanket around January of 2017 and I am still not even halfway through. I have decided that that is the hobby I want to complete for this coming year. I would like to have knitted that blanket. And sure, I've got a head start on a lot of these goals. Harry Potter and this blanket, I have started. Will I finish? Still very unlikely. Another goal of mine for 2019, and this one is one that I'm wanting to hold myself to more of any of the others. And this is also why I'm uploading this video, because my final goal for 2019 is I want to hold myself to vlogging for the whole year. I really enjoy vlogging because it's a way that I can look back on things that have happened. I don't take a huge amount of photos. I don't 
write in a journal necessarily. I don't post on Instagram or Facebook really often at all. And for me throughout high school, this was the way that I had those memories. And I really, really enjoy looking back. And so it's disappointing for me for the past year or so that I haven't had that there. And so, you know, I can already tell that 2019 and 2020 are gonna be big, big years for me. And I know that I can do this and I know I can balance it with my schedule. And so I really, really wanna hold myself to actually vlogging for the whole year. I'm not gonna say four videos a week. I'm not gonna give myself any kind of schedule to it. I just wanna upload, let's say, at least a video a month. I'm hoping to do two videos a week, a kind of through the week vlog and a cover because also like music's fun. But honestly, no pressure to myself. I just wanna to get to this time next year and be able to look back and be able to tell you what I was doing in February. So that's it, that's my five goals. What are yours? Tell me your New Year's resolution and hopefully we can try to inspire each other. That's right, call to action. I don't have anyone watching these videos, but I'm acting like I do. That's what's gonna keep me going. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you when I see you next. Bye. Michaela, if you're watching this and it's like April and you haven't uploaded a video, please just give up. Don't do it again. Don't do this to yourself. Oh my God, I can't believe we're here.